Hi, welcome to AU Photography. We're standing in one of our brand new spaces where we process our film. I'm the director of the photography program. And I'm Sean Schroth. I'm the assistant director of the photography program. And one of the questions we get often is, what does it mean to be a photography student? Sean, what are your thoughts? I would say that one of the biggest things is learning what you can and can't do with photography. A big part of that will depend on the type of photography that you're interested in. Any photographic field that you want to explore or get into, we cover it. So that's one of the things that we think that sets our major apart from others is that you'll get a little sampling of everything through your course curriculum. Hi everybody, I'm Bill Gentile. Over the past 40 some years, I've worked as foreign correspondent, photojournalist, and documentary filmmaker mostly covering conflict from Central America to East Africa, from Caracas, Venezuela, to Kabul, Afghanistan. Here at American University, I teach what I still practice after all those years. Mostly, I teach the courses I created, photojournalism, social documentary, backpack journalism. I even created and teach a class called Foreign Correspondence. My job is to prepare students to work abroad covering some of the most important issues of our time. And I do so with the alliances that I help form with the Overseas Press Club and the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. Hi, my name is Naoko Osugi. I teach digital photography, video art, and socially engaged art for Studio Art Program. Studio Art Program offer intro courses, artist perspective digital photography, and artist perspective video art. We approach both courses through lens of fine art, conceptual photography, and video in contemporary art dialogue through leading lecture field trip to research. Students will be able to use Adobe Premiere Pro for video and sound editing, Adobe Photoshop for basic photo retouching, and more advanced creative composite photography. Students have access to large format apps on printers, scanners, DSL cameras, lighting equipment, green screen to create large scale artworks. Our advanced course, Expanded Media, Video and Photography, allows students to pursue more conceptually rigorous art projects that use digital photography, video art, performance art, and other strategies and technologies. We are also co-partnered with the College of Arts and Sciences. So this is a degree that is shared between the College of Arts and Sciences Department of Art and the School of Communication Film and Media Arts Program. And in terms of our course sequencing, you'll be taking classes in both, both areas, in um, the College of Arts and Sciences and in the School of Communication. Obviously, the College of Arts and Sciences focuses on more on the artistic end, and we focus more a little bit more on the journalism and commercial end. Another thing that's really important in our curriculum is how we pepper diversity, equity, and inclusion throughout the curriculum. We do this in a variety of ways. We make sure that you understand and know not just the masters of the field, but that you understand and, um, other histories in our photo history class. We also make sure that when we're showing our examples in class, that you're learning about photography from around the world. So it's incredibly important to us that you are well-versed in not just the Eastern and um, American photography, but that you understand how photography impacts the rest of the world globally. Uh, one of the questions we're often asked is, what sort of access to equipment do I have? Depending on what course you're in and what course level you have taken, uh, we'll determine what access you have to equipment. Uh, we do some unique things where Students coming in to our principles of photography class, our kind of introductory dark artificial class, have access to 35 millimeter film cameras and DSLR cameras that they can check out for the entire semester. As students progress, they get more and more access to camera equipment. When we get into something like our fine art class, Camera equipment ranges from anything in the previous level all the way up to pinhole cameras, digital infrared cameras, medium format cameras, toy cameras, stereo cameras, pretty much whatever we have access to. <laughs> uh, and then in our top level class, you gain access to even more equipment, such as like our higher end DSLR cameras, lenses, 
large format equipment for large format film photography, uh, and even uh, digital medium format cameras. And also we have a, an array of lighting sources. So students who are interested in studio lighting, we, um, we have all of that equipment available for students to use in our studio as well. Yeah. Along with uh, portable strobe kits so that you're not always limited to working in the studio. Students, especially parents, ask us often, where do students go once they graduate with a photo degree? And that answer is they can go pretty much anywhere because there is a need for photography in almost everything we do. They can go to advertising agents. We have students that um, graduated recently that are Getty staff photographers. We have current students who are interning in and will probably work for um, the Washington Wizards. We have students who go into the art world and we just had a student who presented Louisiana, former student who presented in the Louisiana Biennial and is part of Aperture Magazine now. So. There are, uh, there are lots of places and opportunities for our students to go. In terms of course sequencing, we do work with the, because this is a joint degree between the College of Arts and Sciences and the School of Communication, we have students taking classes in both areas. So um, you'll start off taking um, visual literacy class and then some um, digital photography classes that are in the art department. We move on then to the intermediate classes uh, where you're actually getting much more hands-on, detailed-oriented coursework. And um, Sean will talk a little bit about that. Once students get into the SOC courses as a part of their course sequence, they'll start with principles of photography, which is a mix of analog and digital photography. From there, they have a choice of either going to fine art photography, uh, which covers more uh, historic processes and conceptual concepts in art making. The third course in our curriculum is our large format commercial photography class which focuses heavily on studio lighting. Uh, it's also a mix of analog and digital work. The analog portion covering the large format camera and the digital portion covering more product and commercial photography. We also have a sequence in photojournalism for students who are interested in doing that with uh, Professor Bill Gentile. Finally, uh, Studio Art Senior Seminar Capstone is the culminating semester of self-directed work by senior art and photography majors. Students take this interdisciplinary seminar and create a body of self-directed work to exhibit in Hudson Art Center for their Capstone exhibition. So why do you want to be a photo student? Photography is in, it inundates everything we do, no matter where we go. I would challenge somebody to spend one day without being able to look at a photograph, and you probably wouldn't be able to do it. We see it in advertising and bus billboards. We see it in as soon as we open up our social media feeds. Um, we see it when we look at a newspaper. It is It encompasses everything that we do. And that is, that's why we want you to be a part of that. We, we teach you how to tell the story. We teach you about the meaning of the photograph. What is it that you're trying to say in this image and how are your viewers decoding that image? So we look into the theory and practice and history of photography.